ring right now. We await the entrance of Pavel Zawistowski and uh, pretty close across the board here. Yeah, everything's pretty much of a bunch of push. As far as height, McGinnis has, has a slight height advantage, which translates to a slight reach advantage. As far as our, our, our records, two and one, three, three and one. Uh, both guys with about the same experience. I mean, I know for a fact that Powell has 40, 45 amateur fights. So, you know, he probably has the edge as far as amateur fights, but in the pro ranks, all bets are off. Everything's very even. And Pavel Zawistowski, cloud in red, and the flag of his native Poland as he enters the ring. The product, product of King's Combat Fitness in Rigo Park. Zawistowski, yes, 3 3 and 1 as a pro, 42 and 4 as an amateur, so a deep, deep amateur background for Zawistowski. We'll see what he has in store for us tonight. He lost a decision to Matt the Milkman Kendall his last time out back in December, and he got off to kind of a slow start in that fight. Primo is going to have to change that up tonight. Yeah, that's tough. You know, that's a, that's another reason why, you know, I, I, I like to see Paul in uh, Muay Thai rules so he can fight five rounds. You know, a lot of times in kickboxing, it's only a three-round fight. And, uh, you know, Pavel is a, he's a notoriously slow starter. Uh, he'll keep moving forward, but it takes him a little while to get onto his timing. He's in a three-round fight. Pavel has to make the adjustment and get on it early. For the official introductions and our first pro fight of the night, we go to Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for three rounds of glory rules Muay Thai from the 163-pound weight class. Fighting out of the red corner tonight, he's wearing the white trunks with the black and orange trim and weighing in at 164. He represents Tampa Muay Thai with a one and two record, one by KO. From Tampa, Florida, Vince McGinnis. And fighting out of the blue corner. Oh yeah, we got some fun. Fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the red trunks with the black trim and also weighing in at 164. He represents King's Combat Fitness with a record of 3-3-1. From Queens, New York, Pavel Zawistowski. Okay, guys, this is glory rules. You both know your rules, okay? Obey my commands at all times, defend yourself at all times. If I dare to break, break clean, do you understand? Do you understand? Touch gloves, come out fighting. So here we go, professional kickboxing on tap for us here, live from New York City on Friday Night Fights. It's Pavel Zawistowski on the left side of your screen wearing the red trunks with black trim going up against Vince McGinnis wearing the white with orange and black trim. Our first look at Vince McGinnis on Friday Night Fights. He's actually a Brooklyn native, but fights out of Tampa Muay Thai. Now, Pavel looks to have made the adjustment. You know, came right out, landed a low kick, landed a couple punches, another low kick. Looks to have made the adjustment and decided, I just need to get on it. But McGinnis there to meet him so far, Primo. He looks ready to roll as well. Yeah, McGinnis has a real snappy jab. He's got a pretty good right hand. Throws everything in combination. He wants to be a mover, you can tell. We'll see if Pavel can just walk him down. Cut off the ring, walk him down. And one of the key differences, Primo, from professional Muay Thai to kickboxing, no elbows and the clinch not nearly as big a factor in these fights. Yeah, uh, the referee will let you clinch, but it has to be offensive. The minute the minute you start to uh, change position or, or there's a slight lull in the action, the referee will restart you. So the first of three three-minute rounds underway between Pavel Zawasowski and Vince McGinnis. Now, you know, I'm watching McGinnis. His lead hand is real low. He holds that left hand very, very low. Switching stances there, though. Went lefty for just a moment. Now back to conventional. Oh, double back kick there from Pavel. Yeah, that landed right to the midsection on McGinnis. You're right, Primo. Pavel's got a little something extra in the tank tonight. Yeah, he really came out. Now, now here we are. We're, you know, we're halfway through this first round. He came out hard, and I don't think Pavel's going to tire from that. But can, he, but will he, will he fall back into at the midway point? Fall back into old rhythms. That's the thing. You know what I mean? So hopefully he just keeps this pace up. He's perfectly capable of it. Nice check from Pavel. Nice body kick on the return. Zawistowski and McGinnis in a phone booth right now, trading short punches. Right to the chin lands for Pavel, another one. 
Yeah, Pavel's managing to land that right hand. Like I said earlier, McGinnis holds his left hand pretty low. He also squats down. He's got a height advantage, but he, but he squats down in his stance and he kind of gives that away. Kostowski inside leg kick and an uppercut to cap off a nice combination for Pavel. Yeah, McGinnis is throwing really nice combinations that are making contact, but Pavel's just walking through it and throwing harder. And another one right there, another nice combination from Zawostowski. Final seconds of round number one. Big right hand and exchange fire from McGinnis, but Pavel's the one coming forward. That right hand is starting to take its toll now. Just, just a second ago, McGinnis had that left hand low, and right hand landed from Pavel, and, and, it, and it stunned McGinnis. Pavel leaning up against McGinnis to cap off the first round. An exciting first round from Pavel Zawostowski. That's what we've been looking for from this guy. I, you know, I, for three fights now, I've, I, I think I've been saying the same thing. That's the kind of round that Pavel needs to needs to have. That and, and he needs to go right back out and do it again in the next round, especially in a three-round fight. It's a three-round fight. You're a professional. Really what we're talking about here is a three-round sprint. Get on it. Be exhausted. I tell my guys, you should be tired at the end of the round. If you're not tired at the end of the round, you didn't go hard enough. What you should be able to do is recuperate in the minute rest and go and do it again. I want you tired at the end. I want you in good enough shape that you can recoup and go do it again for another round. And Pavel is in that good of shape. It's just the mental switch that needs to happen for him. Now, according to that first round that we just had, Pavel's made the mental switch. He seems to have kind of settled into that 165 pound range uh, did Pavel Zawostowski. used to go a little bit lighter. Now he seems to have kind of thickened out, thickened yeah. up a little bit, and he, he seems comfortable right in this area where he is right now. This he fight is was a big dude. You know, I, I think I think going down in, in, in weight, he, he loses his power and he, and he loses his energy. I think it sucks a lot of his energy out of him. This fight was called at 163. Both of these men came in to pound over. So McGinnis has switched stance now. First round he came out, he was an orthodox fighter, and now he, now he switched to southpaw. Now, the one thing that I've seen so far, every time he switches to southpaw, he throws that left leg high kick. He did it once in the first round, and now he's been southpaw in this round, and he's already thrown that high kick as well. Inside leg kick for Pavel. McGinnis trying to fight him off. Pavel's getting on that leg now, and it's starting to hurt. Pavel going to the outside of McGinnis's back leg. And again, McGinnis trying to kind of switch stances here, but it's not doing much to fool Zawostowski right now. Yeah, well, you know, McGinnis has a much better jab from the orthodox stance. Once he switches, his, his jab is actually pretty weak, even though technically it might be a strong hand. And Pavel just hasn't stopped kicking that leg. When McGinnis was in his orthodox stance, that his left leg is in the front. Now, now that he's switched to his to a southpaw stance in the back, and Pavel's still chipping away at it. Zawostowski saw an opening there, went right at McGinnis in the corner, landed a couple of nice shots. McGinnis able to work his way out. We're past the halfway mark of round number two. That was a nice pullback out of the way from McGinnis. Yeah, and there he just did it again. Now he finally threw that right hand. See, that was I was, I was just about to say, when he, when he makes that little pull back, he's got to take advantage of the miss. Uppercut for McGinnis. Yeah, Marshall. nice little slip to the side, throw an uppercut. But, uh, I'd like to see him throw a little bit more combination, throw an uppercut, finish with an inside kick maybe. Pavel ended up returning a straight right. Round two of a scheduled three professional kickboxing affair between Pavel Zawostowski out of Queens by way of Poland against Vince McGinnis, who was wearing the white trunks out of Tampa Muay Thai. Calls Florida home now, originally from Brooklyn, New York. McGinnis nice really has nice movement. Nice if, slip, yeah. if you watch him, as, Powell's, as Powell comes forward, McGinnis moves back just enough. Takes a little step backwards, stays right in range. He, he's living in that danger zone that I like to call it. Either, either guy takes a quick step forward, somebody's going to get hit. Zawostowski kind of loaded up on that right hand, might have telegraphed it just a little bit. Yeah, nice one, too, for McGinnis. He's doing a really good job of keeping his head in, making Powell miss, and then throw. 
Technically sound fight so far between McGinnis and Zawistowski. Yeah, two very technical professionals right now. I gotta, I gotta say, that was a much better round from McGinnis. I think Pavel might have edged it, but it was a much better round, and, and you know, his defense was working good, and when he would make Pavel miss, he'd make him pay for missing. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Friday Night Fights live from New York City's Broad Street Ballroom. We're so glad you could be with us to help us write the latest chapter on the longest running Muay Thai series in North America. We also have some kickboxing as well as you watch Zawistowski and McGinnis getting set for the third of a scheduled three. Ariel Agami ringside with Primo Bellarosa. Still to come, our main event of the evening. Coming up next, it'll be Sammy the Bull Mongonia taking on Tehran the Tornado Hassanov, who makes his long-awaited return to Friday Night Fights, sporting a 15, 10, and 1 record with five knockouts. Sammy the Bull at 4, 1, and 1, coming off a hard four draw. His last time out, and this fight's being waved off, Primo. I don't know what's happened. Uh, Pavel's celebrating like it was his win. I don't know why the stoppage has happened. So Pavel Zawistowski's gonna come away with a TKO victory after two rounds of action here. It looks like Primo, Vince McGinnis unable to continue or his corner unwilling to let him continue. One or the other, we'll have to find yeah, out. Maybe he hurt his hand. That's really the only thing that I can think of right now. McGinnis was, was in that in that fight that might have been the reason for the stance change mcginnis might have hurt his left hand and that's why he switched stance and was just throwing his right you know we'll Great see call, i Primo. mean you may know, be right his demeanor looks fine it doesn't look like like you know he got hurt in the head or you know his eyes cut or anything like that it might have been a broken hand great point primo really very possible we'll see what uh, connor hall has to say he's in the ring We'll see, let's see, when they when they call both guys into the center, let's see how he holds his hand. Let's go to Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after two rounds, we have a winner by TKO, failure to answer the bell, Pavel Zavistovsky. Well, it is a TKO win for Pavel Zawistowski, the fourth of his pro career. Fourth victory, that is. Our ringside doctor, Robert Polovsky, about to take a look at Vince McGinnis outside the squared circle. Let's take a look at exactly what Dr. Polovsky 